वेलकम टू ऑल न्यूली एडमिटेड स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी एस सी फर्स्ट ईयर ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट फिशरी साइंस माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर एन जी पोपटवार हेड एंड रिसर्च सुपरविजर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिशरी साइंस डी एस एम कॉलेज जिंतूर डिस्ट परभनी अफिलेटेड टू स्वामी रामानंद तीर्थ मराठवाड़ा यूनिवर्सिटी नांदेड स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव सेलेक्ट वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टंट अप्लाइड सब्जेक्ट आज ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट फिशरी साइंस इन दिस फिशरी साइंस ड्यूरिंग दिस इयर इन फर्स्ट इयर सेमिस्टर फर्स्ट इन सेमिस्टर फर्स्ट वी आर स्टडिंग टू पेपर्स पेपर फर्स्ट इथियो टेक्जॉनॉमी एंड इकोलॉजिकल अडॉप्टेशन्स एंड पेपर सेकंड टाइप स्टडी फ्रेश वॉटर शार्क वैल्या गुअट टू टाइप स्टडी फ्रेश वॉटर शार्क वैल्या गु अट टू दिस इज द पेपर सेकंड इन सेमिस्टर फर्स्ट नाउ वॉइज वी हैव सीन टुडे the first article of paper second that is fresh water shark type study valley go to how these fishes these are to be found where its classification where its general character what is the family what is the genus and respective points for our syllabus for our study we have seen further as we have proceeding we are studying article by article chapter by chapter for your convenience for your understanding i have studying this paper with some live lectures on either google meet or on zoom as well as some lectures which is to be we have studying on ppt is point power power point presentations the first article the first point today we have seen with power point presentation and that article is classification or the introduction and classification of valley of water introduction classification of valley of up to here you have studying what is in by fish what is the definition of fish and fishery science we have understand the importance and scope of fishery science in last few online lectures again you have studying the classification of pisces or fishes bird 1940 classified fishes into seven classes in these seven classes first three class terichthys coccista and acanthodi these are extinct on earth planet these are verge on earth planet that's why these are called as placoderms or the placoderm today these fishes these are to be only found in fossil records only we have studied their fossils no live members no no any live species these are to be available on earth planet that's why these are extinct or these are for john earth planet then remaining four classes 
for our study which is important just to be most useful these classes are class 4th elasmo branchi class 5th holocephaly class 6th dipnoi and class 7th teleosto in these remaining four classes the first class elasmo branchi is primitive ancient less developed whereas the last class the class teleostomy most advanced recent developed and for commercial purpose for commercial manner for economical manner this class these are to be important because world's maximum fish production remember world's maximum fish production jagatla sagle jast machche utpadan masha ki nirmiti the maximum world's fish production which is to be come from the or which is to be came from the class class teleostomy class teleostomy from which class well i got to these are to be belongs well i got to these are to be occur well i got to these are to be occur these are to be belongs for this study introduction and classification of well i got to we have seen today in short classification we have seen we have studied the fishes from the first living jawed vertebrates the fishes from the first living jawed vertebrates of today and they have been in placed they have been placed in the phylum chordata where these fishes these are to be kept where these fishes these are to be placed today's fishes from the first i that is living jawed vertebrates those vertebrates these are to be developed those are to be evolved on evolved on earth planet in these vertebrate fishes are the first animal on earth planet which is to be living jawed vertebrates and they have been placed in phylum chordata which is the phylum phylum chordata again why these are to be called as chordata because they show the typical chordate characters typical chordate characters they show the typical fundamental chordate character three fundamental chordate characters which is to be present in fishes or which is to be present in animals these animals are called as chordate and when the three fundamental characters these are to be absent in animals then these are called as the non chordates or invertebrates fundamental three fundamental important characters when these three fundamental important character present then these are called as chordates and when these fundamental character these are to be absent it is called as non chordates or invertebrates and chordates is also called as vertebrates which are these three fundamental characters first nerve cord second notochord and third pharyngeal gill slits which are the important three fundamental character first is the nerve cord second is the notochord and third is the pharyngeal gill slits these three character these are to be present in those animal these animal are called as chordate and when nerve cord notochord and pharyngeal gill slits are absent then these are called as non chordates or invertebrates fishes are cold blooded we have seen last few lectures definition of fish what is mean by fish or pisces greek word pisces means fish what is mean by fish which is aquatic living in water that may be fresh water that may be marine water that may be brackish water which is aquatic cold blooded cold blooded respire with the help of gills and locomotion with the help of fins 
that animal which is to be called as the fish fishes are cold blooded cold blooded which do not maintain their body temperature or better way they can change their body temperature according to the surrounding environment according to the surrounding condition hence these are called as cold blooded animals aquatic which live which survive their life inside the water medium inside the water medium hence these are called as aquatic that water may be fresh water that water may be marine water or brackish water which are cold blooded aquatic breathe by means of gills they can respire they can breathe they can respire they can breathe by means of gills and locomotion which is to be takes place they can move from one place to another place they can swim from one part of the river to the other part of the river with the help of fins such animal or that animal is called as the fish or pisces fish or pisces which body is to be streamlined which body is to be streamlined body is to be streamlined both the ends anterior end and posterior end these are to be pointed these are to be narrow which is to be arrow like and this narrow or the both the end these are to be pointed is to be useful because to cut the water easily and to swim water easily such a stream like the body these are to be important these are to be a adaptation for surviving in aquatic medium they live in all the seas they live where these are to fish these are to be live these are to be live in seas or ocean water marine waters rivers these are to be live in reservoirs these are to be live in lakes canals dams in almost every place where there is water fair water these are to be available that may be fresh water that may be brackish water or that may be marine water fair water these are to be available in such area in such part the animal which is to be live animal which is to be found that animal these are to be called as the fish or pisces fish or pisces the animal fair water the water is to be found in fresh water water is to be found in marine water fresh water medium or the rivers tributaries reservoirs ponds lakes dams canals all these are the sources of the fresh water inland water and marine water the water which is to be found in seas and oceans only that water is called as that is marine water sea water or salt water and brackish water delta region or the issuran region where sea and river they can meet to each other where river meet to the sea or ocean at the junction of joining of river and sea that place is called as issuri or the brackish water or the delta region where these animals these are to be found where these animals these are to be occur where water these are to present these are to be found they constitute economically a very important group of animals fishes constitute economical very important group of animals they are lower vertebrates and called as pisces fishes among all vertebrates fishes are the first develop on earth planet hence these are called as lower vertebrates because first time these are to be develop and development these are to be occur which is to be less poor development as compared to the mammals as compared to the higher chordates that's why these animal these are to be where they constitute economically very important group of animal because world's maximum production come from this class they are lower vertebrates and called as pisces pisces are divided into seven classes last chapter we have see that berg 1940 studying that that is fishes these are to be divided into four seven classes in which first three classes these are to be extinct lost on earth planet and remaining four classes till today surviving till today found lower vertebrate called as pisces pisces are divided into seven classes all jawed vertebrates are included in the group gnathostomata again 
gnathas means mouth stoma means complete when animals they perform they develop upper jaw and when upper jaw is to be supported to the lower jaw by a ligament and forms a complete mouth it is called as gnathostomes gnathas means jaws and stoma means mouth when in animals mouth when in animals mouth both jaws these are to be present upper jaw and lower jaw that animal it is to be called as a gnathostomes because all of them have mouth with jaws fishes from the first group of living gnathostomes hence they are very important in the evolutionary history of the vertebrate around us as evolution is to be occur on earth planet these fishes these are to be developed first and for the study of evolution for the study of pedology or the progeny study of ancestor these fishes these are to be important to understand their technique and evolution how evolution these are to be occur from molecular level to the higher level and that's why these fishes these are to be important these are to be useful as a evolutionary point around the development of vertebrates or the vertebrates these are to be develop on the earth planet this is the just introduction about the pisces or the fish then again we have well known those scientists these are to be classified fishes those fishes these are to be found discovered by workers scientists in whole world among these fishes or in these fishes number of workers they have studied number of investigators they have studied they have worked out but there is no universal agreement about the classification nomenclature that's why there is a controversy which is to be seen by number of workers that may be regan that may be romer jordan that may be other different khannas or other different ahmad these are to be different these are to be separate but 1940 berg put for the minor revision put for a minimum changes and classified the fishes into seven classes and this his classification these are to be accepted worldwide with changing minor changes minor revision that's why his contribution his classification is to be famous all over to study the pisces or the fishes that's why classification of fishes which is to be important which is to be most useful berg 1940 divided fishes into seven classes which are these seven classes first terichthys second coccostai third acanthodi fourth glasmo blanca fifth holocephali sixth dipnoi and seventh teleosto these seven classes fishes these are to be are pisces these are to be classified these are to be categorized divided into these seven classes berg 1940 all these fishes these are to be categorized into seven classes of these first three classes i class terichthys class coccostai and class acanthodi are completely extinct are completely verge on earth planet these classes today these are to be not present they can found only in fossil records only these are to be found in fossil form since these classes these are to be extinct on earth planet and these three classes class terichthys coccostai and acanthodi they bear the possesses a bony shield or bony carapace bony shield bony carapace or the bony covering which is to be hard tough calcareous and used for offensive purpose and defensive purpose offensive purpose and defensive purpose sanrakshan karne ani atmarakshan karne defense sanrakshan karne shatru pasun swatah cha bachav karne ani defense sanrakshan ani offense atmarakshan jar kuni halla kela to tela again reply that they can Save themselves. That's why these such organs, these are to be present. That may be spines, that may be scutes, that may be scales, which is to be present in first erectus, coccostai, and acanthodi. Hence, 
these fishes these are called as placodermy or placoderms these are called as placodermy or placoderms why it is called as placodermy or placoderm because on the body of these fishes bony plate like armor or carapace or shield or spines these are to be used these spines these are to be used full for offense and defense from enemies or other purposes other different enemies these weapons these are to be act as weapon like structure hence these are called as placoderms or the placoderm remaining four groups are surviving on the earth planet remaining four groups remaining four classes these are to be till today these are to be surviving among these last four groups the class tilostomy is advanced and most important class and more evolved group of fishes last class in these four classes the class tilostomy is most advanced recent most important and more evolved advanced group of fishes as compared to other classes because maximum world's production maximum fish production which is to be come from this class hence this class these are to be important this class these are to be most tilostomy groups includes a large number of bony fishes in which large number of bony fishes in which the primary upper and lower jaws are supplemented in which the primary upper and lower jaws are supplemented by the addition of membrane bones which form the secondary jaws these tilostomy groups these are to be which is to be most important because primary upper and lower jaws these are to be supplemented by the addition of the membrane bones which form the secondary jaws hence they are called as tilostomy or perfect mouthed fishes these are also called as freshwater fishes because maximum number of fish species from this class they can inhabit they can found in fresh waters of rivers fresh waters of reservoirs or fresh water or waters of tributaries hence these are also called as fresh water because maximum number of fish species inhabit maximum number of fish species these are to be found these are to be survival in fresh water medium hence these are called as fresh water fishes these are also called as ostic fish these fishes are also called as ostic fish Greek word ostic means bones, ichthys means fish. That is, in those fishes, endoskeleton is made up of in the form of bones. In those animals, endoskeleton is made up of in the form of bones, ossified. These fishes, these are also called as bony fishes or the ostic fish because endoskeleton is made up of in the form of bones. Internal framework, internal. framework of body is to be formed developed with the help of bones or hence these are called as the bony fishes or the ostic fish among tilostomy class various orders and families are found in this class tilostomy various orders and various families these are to be found among these different orders and families one of the most important order one of the most important order is siluriformes and the family siluridae is to be most important because this order this family these are to be possesses valiaguatu that is freshwater shark and this freshwater shark is important captured on large scale eyes like that of the shark which is to be found in seas and oceans it is to be called as freshwater shark we all know that Why these are called as freshwater shark? We have seen, we have understand. Shark, it is the marine water fish which is to be found, which is to be occur in seas and oceans, and they can found in large number in seas and oceans. When we have seen the Discovery Channel, or even we have seen the geographical channels. In these geographical channels, we have seen maximum videos, maximum videos. These are to be recorded and seen in, in seas and oceans. from the sharks and their behavior their different study these are to be carnivorous predatory and in large quantities these are carnivorous predatory and large quantities and they have a important structure 
important point that is they have a acute sense of smell like that of the dog fish like that of the dog like that of the dog to understand to identify the sense of acute animals or can be hence these are called as dog and these shark these are called as dog fish sharks are called as dog fish because they have acute sense of smell same manner similar fashion valia go out to these are to be more in number valia go out to these are to be maximum in number which is to be inhabit which is to be found in fresh water it is also predatory in habitat it is also carnivorous and it is also similar to that of the shark hence this valia go out to it is to be called as fresh water shark the shark which is to be found in marine water similar manner this fish these are to be found in fresh water inland water hence these are called as fresh water shark that is valia go out to similar to the fish dog fish found in marine water then what is the classification of this valia go out up to here we have seen first phylum chordata phylum chordata that is animal these are to be divided those animal that is animal kingdom these are to be divided this animal kingdom these are to be divided into two kingdoms animal kingdom and plant kingdom animal kingdom animal these are to be divided into two groups two parts or the phylum chordata and phylum non chordata chordata three fundamental characters notochord nerve cord and pharyngeal gill slit these are to be present hence called as chordata second group craniates group depending upon the cranium or brain box is to be developed animal these are to be divided into two groups one is the craniates in which cranium or brain box these are to be present these are called as craniates and a craniates when cranium or brain box is to be absent it is called as a craniates sub phylum vertebrata sub phylum vertebrata that is notochord is replaced by vertebral column backbone is to be present vertebral column is present and this vertebral column these are to be persistent for long time for long period and act hence it is called as sub phylum vertebrata vertebral column is to be present division gnathostomata two division these are to be occur agnatha and gnathost agnatha a means absent gnatha means stoma or mouth complete jaws or mouth is to be absent hence it is called as agnatha and gnathostomata when jaws and paired appendages and mouth these are to be completely developed completely forms it is called as gnathostoms division gnathostoms series fishes these are to be divided fishes these are to be classified into series that is series pisces pisces means aquatic fish which is to be surviving inhabiting in water that animal is called as pisces or fish class teleostomy primary upper jaw and lower jaw these are to be supported by ligament bone and forms a complete mouth forms a complete mouth hence it is called as teleost teleost means complete stoma means mouth when complete mouth these are to be formed hence it is called as teleost order siluriformis body is to be naked and barbels are present hence order siluriformis family siluridae barbels are present adipose dorsal fin is present and body is to be naked of family siluridae genus valiagua to genus valiagu at to and species sorry genus valiagu and species valiagu at to this is the in short classification of this valiagu at to which is to be have seen we have studied already we have seen the classification of pisces in this class seven classes this last class seven class teleostomy most important advanced recent developed maximum words production come from the teleostomy and this class these are to be important because from this class valia well, got to these are to be belongs because words maximum fresh water fish production which is to be come from this class hence the class teleostomy is important as per as valia well, got to your concern 
दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रेश वाटर फिश इम्पॉर्टेंट इन लैंड फिश और इन लैंड वाटर फिश फाउंड एंड अकर इन इंडियन रीजन साइज वेज द अदर फ्रेश वाटर्स ऑफ इंडिया फ्रेश वाटर्स ऑफ अदर कंट्री ऑल्सो एंड दैट सॉ इन शॉर्ट दिस इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ वेल एव वाटू अप टू हेयर वी हव सीन वी हव कंप्लीटेड प्लीज यू आर न्यूली एडमिटेड any aspects any point we have not clear not understand please ask any time in middle region middle way or any way any time you can ask or you can ask any difficulties to the department also with this we have completed the first point classification of valley water thank you all of you